Hope over here talking about some she ain't no homework and she just having fun. I said, man, really? Really? But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review of Life of Chester for the Bottom Beautiful June 29, 2024. Okay, y'all, so I got a question. If you didn't know, spoilers say that basically Steffi's passport is going to be missing. I said, do y'all think Hope he get that passport? What are y'all thoughts? Comment down below. But okay, on today's episode, basically, it was a continuation of Friday's episode where Brooke was preparing for the photo shoot. She actually ended up having the photo shoot, and Zenday was the photographer. He ended up getting pictures or whatever. And it was a scene It was a scene where he told her to look at the camera. And I was wondering why. I was like, I thought she was going to say, you know, she having doubts and everything. But then she ends up going to talk to Hope. And she told her, I saw you looking at Finn, and she reminds her that that's Steffi's husband. And I said, look, I ain't even pay no attention. And that's when Hope was talking about some she not a homework and she just having a lot of fun. She just having fun. And I said, ma'am, I said, look, I was hoping that Finn actually told Steffi, that we actually got to see him tell Steffi. Spoiler say something about Finn is put in an awkward position when it comes to Hope and Steffi. So I guess they're going to be arguing or something like that. But Steffi was still trying to get Ridge to change his mind about putting Brooke front and center. I said, do y'all think something going to go wrong? Now I know for sure that they say... Steffi loses her passport or it's misplaced. She ends up holding up the flight to Monte Carlo. They said something about Ridge and Brooke go to Monte Carlo, but they don't say nothing about Steffi. They just said that Steffi and Hope get into it again, and Finn is put in an awkward position. Katie and Poppy. So, basically, Poppy was warning Katie to stop it, to drop it, leave it alone. She was like, what are you talking about? And basically, she's saying she ain't did nothing. She ain't did nothing. Y'all remember how I said on Friday's episode, they showed, look like somebody's walking into, um, the bedroom with bill and um poppy and poppy screens or something like that i thought she was having a nightmare now we don't know for sure but spoilers say that will returns that we're supposed to be returning and he's not gonna be too thrilled about anything that's going on him and bill don't have a pleasant reunion but poppy and katie was going back and forth katie ends up asking poppy if she's responsible for the two deaf you know tom and hollis she over here to my she not and that's when luna came down luna was defending poppy saying that she would never harm anything or anybody and just defending her and then she asks katie to leave so katie does leave then katie ends up bringing in rj rj didn't get a chance to fully tell her what happened but he did end up saying that basically Luna ended up with Poppy's mints, and she was like, what? So basically, she's worried about Bill. She's like, Bill, are you in danger and everything? And a lot of people are calling her out for her jealousy. Obviously, she's jealous. I just want to know if she's going to be right. Oh, another thing. What did they say? Um, Did they say something about Poppy? Another spoiler. Hold on. Let me look it up, y'all. Okay, so they said that Luna lashes out at Katie for the accusations she's making against Poppy. And then it was another thing. It was something about, was it Poppy apartment? Hold on. Let me see um it says luna makes a shocking discovery in her mom's apartment so what does she find what does she find and the last people we got to talk about is bill deacon and justin basically deacon was still saying that something's off something's going on he wanted to find out because they wasn't just you know employees they was his friends and then they brought up justin i think justin was the one that brought up that you know maybe it was substances or whatever he was like no neither one of them had a history well not recent history of using and Justin still acting suspicious. I said, did he find out what was going on? And did he say something or do something to try to get his job back with Bill? Or like, what? Because why is he, he acting real suspicious? Or does he know something? Or do he know something? Because I was like, he keep acting. Do y'all see his face? They trying to throw us off track. That's what they trying to do. That's what they trying to do. But yeah, he keep acting suspicious. And I said, at this point, I don't know who did it. What if it's revealed that Poppy actually didn't do it? Oh, the other spoiler says that uh, Bill learns a secret that Poppy has been keeping. My guess as of right now is that Katie going to take her behind over there and tell what she knows, what RJ told her. Because, you know, RJ told her on today's episode not to say nothing. But y'all know. But that was everything that happened on today's episode. Let me know down below what y'all thought. Stay tuned for the next review. Until next time, this is how girls today and be safe. Okay, y'all. So I started my own community center a couple years ago. And I just really figured out what direction I wanted to go in with it. But the name of the community center is Perkins Unity Center. The mission of Perkins Unity Center is to revive the village, which is the community around the world, through unity. By doing that, I will be hosting 
different types of events online and in person in order to help give back to those in need whether you need food you need gas you need clothing you need baby necessities anything like that if you need help the link is in the description as well it's under the link tree i think i got a label my community center and you click on that and it's going to take you to the link that shows the fundraiser the cash app and the form where if you need help you can put in your information and here are the shirts, y'all. They deleted my audio, but here are the shirts. It comes in pink, purple, blue, orange, green, and yellow. On the fundraiser site, they also allow you to donate. So if you don't want to purchase a shirt, you can click the link and donate. If you want to purchase a shirt, the fundraiser link is live now. If you want to donate through Cash App, you can as well. If you need help and want to sign up, the form is in the description as well. Thank y'all, and stay tuned for the content, the behind the scenes, y'all.